guys welcome back to my channel so it's not very often I start a video looking this so today's video is going to be another testing Monday in today's video we're going to be testing the new L'Oreal brow tattoo my wait I fluffed up already so we're going to be testing the new L'Oreal micro tattoo brow artist um, so this is meant to basically mimic the effect of having microblading done on your brows which I think is pretty genius to be honest because that's the effect that we all want these days um, so I thought I would test this out but while I was there I went ahead and I picked up a few other little L'Oreal bits so I thought I would kind of do a bit of a L'Oreal testing video because I've never used either of these products before so I thought I would give them a go. So before we crack on please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already guys because you know what it means to me, you guys know and um, I'm soon going to be doing my giveaway for my 1000 subscriber giveaway. If you want to go ahead and test the L'Oreal brow tattoo with me then just keep watching. So I'm actually going to pop online and see what it says online. I had so many colours which I was really really pleased with. Um, it was a bit awkward at first because I asked for this and I actually bought the just the standard um, brow expert pencil I think it's called and I got back and I was like no could she give me the wrong one and I paid for the other one I didn't even check it my fault so I had to go back this morning so it is a fresh nine o'clock in the morning and I've been to town I've exchanged it and we are here to do the review guys so a good thing about this product is there's a quite a big shade range which I really really like because generally you have your blonde, your brunette and your black um, but this had quite an extensive shade range. There was blonde, there was um, light brown, there was like cool brown, there was brunette, there was warm brown, there was ebony, there was dark so there was quite a few shade ranges. I actually picked up 105 brunette um, so I was I was torn between the cool the cool brown, the brunette, and the warm brown. I definitely didn't want warm brow, so I, I ruled that out straight away. It did have quite a warm cap. And then I was worried that the cool brown would be not as pigmented. My logic behind getting this one, basically, guys. So this is what the product looks like. I don't know if you can see that, but it says 105 Brunette. The Brow Artist Tattoo is going to retail for $9.99, but it's got an introductory offer as $7.99. So it is available in all super drugs. I think it's probably available in Boots as well, but I did pick mine up in Super Drug. Um, also, L'Oreal have three for two at the minute, so you, you could basically get this bad boy for free. I did do the three for two, so I think this is like $9.99. Um, I don't know how much this is probably the same sort of price and then this is obviously $7.99 So I picked all these up and I got one free so online the only shades that I can see available are the blonde which is 101 um, Dark which is 102 warm brown which is 105 apparently But I've got 105 and that's brunette Okay, And then there's ebony which is 106 <laughs> so I haven't even opened this so let's go ahead and have a look I'm just gonna put my hand behind it so you can actually see so as you can see it's like an angled sort of felt tip pen and it has three sort of indentations in it which mimic sort of three lines. I'm just going to turn my hand around. So as you can see the harder you press the more pigmented it becomes but you can see there are sort of individual hair sort of strokes. This is pretty cool! So as you can see my brows are pretty weak at the minute. I'm going to go ahead and take a spoolie off this um, Maybelline brow pencil because it's the first one I picked up. And I'm just going to brush all my brow hairs up. I really hope this works, you know, I've been thinking about getting microbladed brows for so long. I haven't watched any videos online of this either so... Ooh. I don't know where to start. It's like I'm colouring in my brows. I think I might start on the edge. Okay, I'm going to press a little bit lighter. What? So I'm going to drag it sideways to do the underneath. I 
I think this would be good, say if you use like a pomade from here to here or a pencil and then use this towards the front of your brow, I think I would, I think I like that sort of idea more. So what I might do on this brow is actually try that technique out. Because at the minute I, I like it for day to day but it's not as bold as I'd like, you know? I'm going to take the Revolution Concealer and I'm just going to tidy up the brow a little bit. I'm going to take this on an Anastasia um, Beverly Hills A1 brush. This is just a flat synthetic brush. I just think it's a little bit too natural for me. So I'm going to pick up my Makeup Revolution HD brow and I'm just going to mix between these two pomades and then these two shadows. And I'm just going to do, like, like I said, a third of my brow. So I've just gone ahead and concealed this brow just so you can really tell. So um, you saw my brows before without any product on and then this is the brow with just the micro tattoo pencil. And then that is the brow obviously with the pomade and the micro tattoo towards the front of the brow. So overall I really really like the concept however um, day to day perfect however I do like more of a bolder brow especially when I'm doing makeup looks or if I'm doing like videos or taking pictures of makeup etc I do like a bolder brow however it took me half the time to do my brows with the micro tattoo like I said obviously I did the pomade and the powder towards like three quarters of my brow and then I literally used the micro tattoo just to literally flick through the front and it's given me the coverage and like the ombre effect that I really really like um I love this brow today, really, really, really like it. So I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and do this brow as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face. I've already primed my skin. I use the NYX, I use the NYX Pore Filling Primer. You guys know I love that primer. I like on the back of L'Oreal products because it literally gives you like a little sort of graph. So it says the texture is medium, the coverage is high and the finish is matte. Um, and it's got shine control pro tip, smooth onto skin in a circular motion for flawless looking coverage. So before we jump into it, I just wanted to show you a few from available range. So we have the L'Oreal Mattifying um, Waterproof 20, 24 hour, that's a waterproof foundation apparently. But it didn't say waterproof on here. And I got the shade 10 Porcelain, so there's that one and that retails for £8.99. Then there is the Infallible Total Cover and this is a full coverage foundation so the coverage is high and the finish is matte and this retails for £9.99. I already have this one, it does make my skin quite dry. I do kind of like it but um, I, I never reach for it because it is, it is quite drying to be honest and it is a bit cake face. And then there is the L'Oreal Paris 24 hour infallible foundation and I got mine in the shade 015 which is far too light for me but I do like this. And this is quite a lightweight foundation, um, this doesn't have um, the little guide on it but this says stay fresh foundation 24 hour wear. This is quite a light foundation but it gives quite decent coverage, I do really like this, I would like to pick this up more in my shade. And this is a little bit pricier, this is 10.99, but this does actually have a glass packaging as well. And lastly, another thing that I already had, this is the L'Oreal Palace, Palace? L'Oreal Paris Infallible Priming Base and this retails for £8.99. Um, I'm not going to use this on my face because I think a matte primer and a matte foundation might be a little bit too much for the skin. I might look a little bit, a little bit dry. The total cover as well, because it is such a thick formula, honestly it's like a paste. Um, that blends quite quite hard so I like how liquidy this is and it's full coverage I think I use too much I've just wiped the foundation of my lips and so now my lips look really strange um, that is definitely a full coverage foundation. I definitely went in with far too much, um, but I like I like the finish. Um, it has emphasised my dry patch around my nose, but I have got really dry skin at the minute. That obviously doesn't help, even though I did go in with a moisturiser first. Um, so perhaps use a little bit less around that area. 
So next I'm going to go in with the new Revolution Concealer in the shade C2. So now I'm just going to set that in place just with this face powder and this is in the shade Vanilla Rose. Oh this powder is really creamy. Bit of creasing on the lid which we don't want. Just going to go ahead and take a pig, a pig, a big powder brush and just dust a little bit more on my face. Then to give my face a little bit of life again I'm just going to go and spray it with the Makeup Fixing Spray by Makeup Revolution. This is just going to make sure all that powder really sinks into the skin and it takes away any like cakey sort of look. They do have a dewy finishing spray which I do want to pick up because I think that would really help like mattify in bases. Just zoom you guys in so you can actually see the base and the brows. I'm going to go ahead and throw on the rest of my face and I will be right back guys to give my final thoughts. So guys, I am back. I've just finished my face. I've just thrown my hair up. So um, my final verdict. Um, so I really, really liked the micro brow tattoo. However, you saw it before I um, put the pomade in and everything. I really did like that. However, it's it's not a brow look that I would um, that I would use very often. I mean, it's quite handy for day to day, like popping Charlie to nursery and whatnot. So I do really like the concept of it. However, I really enjoy the look when I I put the pomade through the end of and um, through the tail of my brow and use this towards the front um it is really really long wearing and stain as well i've just used a spoolie just through the front and it did stay put it didn't move it didn't smudge it didn't smear um i really like the finish of the foundation i think my skin looks really good um it's very full coverage um i think it's got a really lovely matte finish um, I will say I do have a tiny little bit of creasing under my eyes. I'm not sure the, we sure the weather. <laughs> what? I'm not sure whether that's con the concealer or the foundation or the powder or like a bit of a mixture of them all. But I do have, I do tend to crease under my eyes anyway. So it's not much of a big deal. I mean, it's not major. And then the powder I really like because it did give a nice coverage. It gave a really nice finish as well. And it's uh, definitely mattified the skin. And my skin feels good and not heavy. It feels nice and light, which which I really, really like. So, guys, that is it for this testing video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because why wouldn't you want to? I mean... Um, but yeah, that is everything for this video. If you want to see me test any more products, then please comment them down below. And I will be sure to try and do that for you guys. But that is everything for this video, guys. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.